I'm rediscovering radio after a long time and in this video I'm going to look at how I'm going to go about this including some of the projects I'm working on to make it possible. I hope you'll be interested too and I'll make a video about each one as I go along. To start with I'm looking at this Kenwood R2000 receiver which I brought last summer. It has a few problems and I need to finish it so let's take a look at that first. Unfortunately, the display was broken in transit. The package must have been very roughly handled. The display is a vacuum device, so it works with quite high voltages that are very different from those we use with more modern displays. I figured out how to take the display data from the board and make it work with modern seven segment LEDs. Let's take a look inside. I've soldered wires to the PCB in place of the original display and taken out the connections from each grid, the digits and the heater supply to a breadboard. You can see it working here. As I move the frequency control the numbers change. Each digit and each grid requires its own circuit and very soon I'll make a video about how this works and hopefully be able to show a completed communications receiver with the display properly integrated. To go with the receiver and to maybe get back to making contacts, there are some other projects to follow up on. I'm going to need an antenna and some sort of antenna tuning. So last summer I bought this Anun which came with two lengths of antenna wire. It takes the signal from a half wave antenna and through the transformer gives an output impedance of 50 ohms for a coax connection. Soon I'll be fixing this up so I can work properly with the receiver and other gear. I've experimented with 3D printing some fixings and insulators and I'm buying a new ladder so I can work really safely at roof and tree height. I've also been rediscovering how to make up connecting leads including how to crimp these BNC connectors and how to fit these SO259 and PL259 plugs and sockets to coaxial cable. I've bought a small SWR and power meter and I'm looking forward to having a solid antenna set up soon. For a possible experimental project, I've bought some wire, some toroids, switches and silver mica capacitors to see if I can design and build my own antenna tuner. I drew up a schematic some time ago and I'm hoping to get back to that project soon. Now let's take a look at a couple of kits I'm working on. I've always thought that QRP, or low power operation, is an especially interesting aspect of radio communication. So for my return to radio, I've decided to build a couple of QRP kits to get me started quickly and economically. One of them is this QRP Pixie, which is a well-known and popular kit transceiver. It's very cheap to buy, five everywhere, five pounds, five euros, five dollars, five wherever you are. I've bought two of these kits to experiment with. I've obtained some extra crystals so that I can build the second one with switch frequencies and I'll make a 3D printed housing for it, add a power switch and probably wire the connections differently. I also have this Un Antenna Plus from the QRP guys in the USA. It's an antenna tuner which cleverly shaped so you can wrap your wire around the PCB for storage and for taking out on mobile operation. I've started making this and wound my first coil for a long time. That was a success and I'll be pressing ahead with this straight away. After that, I hope to be building a QCX5 Plus transceiver from QRP Labs. It's on order and I'm waiting for it to arrive and I've also purchased a QCX Mini kit. These are single band transceivers. They look amazing and I'm really, really looking forward to getting them soon. I'll put links to all these kits in the comment section of the video. I'm going to be really busy in the next few weeks, finishing my HF receiver, putting up an antenna, making QRP kits, all leading back to rediscovering radio. So thanks for watching. I'll be making more videos about each project as I go along and I hope you'll come back and watch them and be interested too. Now I must press on and work out what I need to do next.